What's up guys, it's your boy and I gotta take them shits off. What's good guys, it's your boy Kev and it has been six months. Six months since I got my Tesla Model Y. Actually, you know what, I think it might be a little bit less. It's been like five or six months. I, I gotta double check. But it's been five or six months with my Tesla Model Y. So this video is going to be about, uh, you know, just my time with this car, my true feelings, my, if I have any regrets about this car, what I don't like about it, what I love about it. It's, I'm, I'm gonna talk about all of these. I'm not gonna be showcasing the car. So if you are looking for a showcase video, this is not it. However, if you are looking for a true owner's perspective, stay tuned. All right, guys. And to start it off, so, uh, you know, with my time, you know, in this car, uh, first and foremost, I have to say, I absolutely love Tesla. Um, you know, I, I work in the auto industry and, and, and I have to move cars that I've sold or that I'm getting ready for clients. And no matter what car I've sat in, um, no matter what brand it is, yeah, you know, they catch your eye, you know, I, I love, there's so many cars and, uh, that I love, but nothing compares to the feeling that I get when I hop in my car, in my Tesla. Um, it, it's, it's comfortable, it's, it, it has enough tech to keep up with my lifestyle, I'm making a whole YouTube video while my car is driving me to work. I, I love it, absolutely love it. You know, there, there is very few things that I dislike about this vehicle um, that will outweigh how much I really love, how much I really love it. Uh, you know, you know what, talking about hate, talking about hate, I have to say it because the car just did it. I hate the phantom braking, it is so annoying. But I'm gonna save that for last, I'm gonna save that for last, I'm gonna save that for later. Um, so, you know, getting right back into it. You know, I love everything about this car in terms of its technology, its comfort, its styling. It's a beautiful car. It's a smart car. And that's what you want out of something that you're going to be spending so much time on the road in. Um, on top of the fact that, you know, it is one of the most safest cars on the road. Uh, but, you know, let's put all of that to the side. Um, you know, in, in the time that I've had this car having white seats is something that has worried me for the longest uh i have three kids you know what i'm saying i have a wife who's always doing something while i'm driving and uh i have myself that i move around i i i i, I you know i gotta sit in different cars you know i might get dirty from sitting in a car that was just cleaned if that makes any sense because now I have oils that stick to my pants and I sit in my chair now my chair could have a steam uh, these chairs when I tell you these chairs this white material if if you've thought about ha about getting the white seats and you've held yourself back because of fear of getting these things dirty um, I have heard nightmare stories. I first, for one, I cannot say that I could relate. I have had nothing but a great experience with this seating. Uh, you know, I did have one pair of jeans, um, you know, and I wore them for a week straight. Uh, and there were this, you know, this, this real raw denim, um, you know, and, you know, I didn't wash the jeans. So, you know, the dye, in the jeans was on on everything my hands were turning blue anytime i rubbed my pants so this chair this driver's seat took some abuse for that one week it took some abuse and uh you know i was like you know i'll clean it but i don't have enough time i'll clean it i don't have enough time i'll clean it i don't have enough time until one day i opened up my car in the morning to go sit and you can see you were able to see the exact positioning that I keep my legs, uh, which is my left leg really like laying on the chair and then my right leg, you know, is always like hitting my steering wheel to keep the auto, the auto cruise control, I mean, uh, the autopilot running. So you, you were able to kind of get an idea of how I sit by looking at the denim stain on the seat, uh, which I, I took, I took these wipes right here, which is your Armor All Leather Care wipes. Um, you know, I took these and I wiped the seat, and the seat was good as new. 
it is new and again I've, I've, I've heard horror stories I've seen pictures that people have posted RIP to those leather seats I don't know what you guys are cleaning them with and I don't know what you guys are spilling on them um, my son that back seat that you see there you know those little poppets that 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 kids throw they're like you throw them and they have like little rocks inside this kid had a box of those and he was you know throwing them out the window and I'm like bro just chill just chill wait till we get to where we're gonna go and then just pop them there all of the sudden all you hear is pop 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 I'm like oh 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 so all it was 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 they I don't know what happened but he popped the whole box and it, it it popped on the seat to where the point the seat had a a what looked like a, a burn stain on it and i was pissed i was pissed and uh you know we went about our day i didn't even clean them because i didn't have any cleaning wipes and i didn't want to just use water to rub it in no so what happened was the next day you know after it had sat like that for a while I, I, I just I just wiped it off with a baby wipe. I wiped the seat with a baby wipe and that little burn stain that was on it went away. I love the leather! I love these seats! I love you! I love I love I love I love this car. I love this car. Uh you know a, another experience that I have to talk about is you know my time 90 98% of the time. 98% of the time, I have driven this car in autopilot. I hate to drive. And I can honestly say, I I do have a bad habit where I tend to doze off. Again, I do a lot of driving, so I do have my moments. Um, this car has done such a great job at keeping me awake. Uh, or, you know, if I have slipped up, you know, alerting me like yo 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 you, you're driving um so that is always a a great feeling to have a car that has your back um you know the only annoying thing has always been you know every 30 seconds you have to touch the steering wheel i could live with that i do it with my knee but it, it's it's so convenient the convenience in this car is absolutely what what sells it for me so just so you guys understand right I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I never. I haven't done this because, because I've never spoken about how much I pay for this car. You know what I'm saying. And the reason why I've never spoken about how much I pay for this car is because then you get all types of opinions. Oh, you're paying too much for this car. Oh, you should have done this. You should have done that. You know. And everybody will have something to say when it's not their budget, but yours. Only you know what you're capable of paying, what you can handle. Um, and that's why I stay away from that because I've seen other people do videos on it and um, the comments section get really, you know, all over the place. But I am going to talk about it uh, and I'm going to, and I'm going to, here's why I say what I say, right? I pay a thousand thirty six for this lease, right? A thousand thirty six a month plus charging costs, right? So, the cost of ownership for myself, I, I can't speak about this for everyone. I don't have a home charger. I have a charge point charger, in, you know, in my, in my residential area, right? I have a charge point. Either if I'm not at a charge point, I'm at a supercharger. So, I don't have that home plug-in to my garage charger. If you have that, great. I can't relate right now. You know what I'm saying? I live in a townhouse, but I can't connect my car to my townhouse. Right, because there's no parking in front of where I live, so I connect it at the charge point charger. Right, I'm paying a thousand thirty six plus charging costs, and uh, everyone tells me that I'm crazy for paying that much for a car, especially for this. Oh, you don't know what you can have, you could have this BMW, you can have this Mercedes, you can you can be driving this range. I don't need all of that. I don't need these loud exhausts. I don't need all of these fancy buttons. I don't need, uh, you know, this crazy looking exterior. I, I want, I want um, a few things: reliability, comfort, and function. Those are the three things I want. If my car functions the way I want it to function, I'm good with that. If the car is reliable, I am good with that. 
and uh, you know it's 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 again it goes back into the convenience so back into it I'm paying a thousand thirty six plus charging costs so a month I'm probably spending probably like uh, thirteen hundred dollars you know uh, on this car if not a little bit more um, now how do I justify that the way I look at it is I pay five hundred dollars for a car right a, a very intelligent reliable convenient car and I pay another five hundred and thirty six dollars for a driver I know I, I that might get a reaction in the comments I don't know I pay 500 for the car itself and I pay five hundred and thirty six dollars to whoever the hell is driving this car right now while I'm making this video while all the people that are around me are looking at me like what is this guy doing I'm making a video while I'm driving that's what I'm doing I'm youtubing while I'm driving that's what I'm doing I'm working while I'm driving that's what I'm doing I'm paying five hundred and thirty six dollars extra a month just to have that convenience all right that's the way I look at it you have to look at it from a point of view of what does this car give you for the money you know what I'm saying not a whole lot of cars out there are gonna drive you around you can do smart summon on this car now if you're not familiar with smart summon I'm gonna be making a video on that as well smart summon you can take your phone you can go on the app and now you can have the car pull up to exactly where you are by itself no driver is in the car you know they do have the one where you can just move the car forward and back you know but they also have your smart summon where the car can you know navigate through a parking lot you know uh, uh, it's uh, again it's amazing technology amazing technology so that's what you that's what you have to take into consideration that's that all goes back into the convenience aspect of it sometimes it's pouring rain and now you can say oh you know so if, if anything if anything Tesla is making you lazy no it's not it's 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 making my life more convenient Again, if it's raining outside, if it's pouring rain, and my car is parked, you know, a little bit far away, why would I walk in the rain when my car can just pull up to me? So, that's that's what I mean by you know the convenience and, and all of that. Um, you know, the 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 car does have now now think about this, right? Think about and again. You know, if, if you can agree with anything that I'm saying, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that like button for me, please. Help me get my subscribers up there. Again, this video, this video, again, is just about what I like about this car and how I feel, what what I like, what I don't like about this car in the, in the time that I've owned it, all right, which has been five or six months. So... This is just giving you an owner's perspective. I didn't just get this car. I'm not I'm not doing a test drive. I'm, I'm not doing, I'm actually talking about my point of view of ownership of this vehicle, right? So let's talk about this, right? And this video, I'm gonna be uploading it tonight. I wanna talk about sentry mode. Sentry, sentry, sentry. Put, put, let, let's, let me, let me lower this heat a little bit. Let's put it into perspective. You're visiting someone, or maybe yourself, don't live, you don't live in the best area, right? Um, you park your car on the street, you hope nothing happens to it. Tesla has a sentry mode, where if you have sentry mode activated, which you have to have battery you know, uh, available. You have to have battery in your car to be able to run sentry mode. You have sentry mode running. Now, if somebody does approach your vehicle or there's the car senses movement around the vehicle, it'll engage and it'll start recording and it'll save it to your, your car and you're able to watch it. However, with Tesla's newest update, which you can click on the link at the end of this video, or I'm gonna try to add it right around here. Um, I did make a video about Tesla's newest update. Um, there was a lot of things that I did dislike about that update, but one of the things that I love about it is once they gave you that update, now you're able to go on the app, use Sentry Mode live. So now you can, you know, get a real time, real time uh, a camera feed of what's going on around your car. 
you know, and, and I absolutely love that. You know, sometimes I'm at the charger and, you know, I I, 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 I want to see what's, what, you know, if there's any movement around my, my car because my car, the, the charger is right next to the gym and it's a high traffic area. So I want to make sure that I keep an eye on my car at all times, you know. I love the fact that I can just, it's almost like a ring, a ring, a ring bell, ring camera, you know. So I, I love that and I love that with every update that Tesla gives you, you you know you you'll have your pros and your cons but the pros will always outweigh the cons you get what i'm saying like think about if 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 they were able to 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 give you live footage just from doing an update what what else is tesla capable of giving you as time goes and that's why that is why i cannot see myself leaving the tesla brand when it comes to getting in and out of vehicles just because of how much you can how much you get for your money you get what i'm saying and and i absolutely love it um you know i, I i'm also going to be dropping a video about why now is the time to get out of your tesla vehicle and into another one if you're if you're planning on doing that this is the time that you want to do that but i'm going to save that for another video um, so, you know, I, I talked about so many things that I do love, you know, one of the things that I highly dislike is, um, and, and don't come for me in the comments, one of the things that I highly dislike about my car, um, and, and I don't even know if I can necessarily point it at my car, um, I, I hate supercharging costs, I feel like for what it is which it's fuel technically you know i feel like maybe the cost could be a little bit less you know however i know that superchargers are really designed really just for trips so you shouldn't be at a supercharger every day i i completely understand that again i do feel like the cost could be a little bit less uh but that's just me you know i, I do charge this car a lot a lot I, I basically charge this car every day uh, but I do drive over 180 miles a day so another thing that I can you know I would like to see in the future I would love to see Tesla give you longer battery life um, you know maybe there are some things that you can turn off in the car to save help save a little bit of battery however I feel like the range you know Tesla should work on giving you more range you get what I'm saying? 300 miles, 325 miles is not a lot in a fully electric vehicle. And I'll explain why, right? If you're doing somewhat of a lot of driving, you're gonna go through it quick. And number two, the car is still using electricity while it's off. Not like a standard regular gas car, you turn it off, you take the keys out, your car is gonna stay at the same amount of gas. No, with these electric cars, you're using energy while you're parked. So keep that in mind you know other than that you know other than other than that there's only really small things like 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 uh the bottom of these chairs where your power seat is located it's very cheaply made it's very plasticky on both of mine it's broken I, I i got it like that but you know i didn't go you know there are some panel gaps here i'll show you i'll show you one i didn't even notice that i checked this whole car hold on matter of fact, i actually like that i checked whatever i checked my car thoroughly or what i thought was thoroughly when i first got it for panel gaps and I, I recorded a youtube video and one of my viewers actually pointed that out and he's like bro that's a huge panel gap and uh you know it doesn't it doesn't bother me that much you know i don't really look at it but it's 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 the small things that you can feel were cheaply made but again the pros definitely outweigh the cons so guys this is it i don't want to hold you guys here for too long long story short it's a great fucking car it's a great car i don't want to own anything other than a tesla maybe i would like to own something else for fun i do own something else you know for fun that my wife drives and um me personally though you give me the option i i only want to drive teslas you want to drive a supercar great get yourself a model s plaid it's that's a super 
That's super, super. Fastest production car ever made. Tesla, you got me. You got me for life. You got me for life. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you can relate. Hopefully, it was help in your decision making if you are getting yourself into a Tesla. And, uh, you know, if you could relate, leave it leave it in the comments and tell me what, what you think. What you think. So, guys, much love, peace, and happiness. Stay tuned for the next one. Again, I'm going to be dropping some gems on you. I'm going to be dropping some gems. Stay tuned for those videos that I did mention earlier. And I'm out. Peace. And if I didn't mention a regret, it's honestly because I don't regret anything about getting myself into this car. So there that was. No regrets. Live your life with no regrets. And uh, enjoy it, man.